Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Tomorrow will be the most significant event for AMC in a very long time. The reason will be discussed in this video. But what we're going to do is review technical analysis or text data, stock tracker data, TDs, and much more to get you guys ready for tomorrow. Because things are about to go insane. Hence, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with this knowledge. It will be the introduction. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel before we continue. Not already. Now, AMC shares are up 6.21% on the day. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that AMC will report profits tomorrow, and for a variety of reasons, there will likely be a significant rally. The market situation. Simply everything that I've been talking about, and I really don't want to regurgitate the same stuff in this video. Watch the last video in particular, as well as the two videos preceding it. If you'd like further context on this though, AMC's stock is quite likely to increase by 10 to 20% on earnings, which may place it in the $9 region by the end of the week. In truth, we were at these levels in December. So give or take three months and you know, go back three months. And we had previously reached these levels, right? So I think to a certain extent, if you look at it like that, you might go much higher. Perhaps even high as $15 by the end of this week and it would be around a 100% rally from here. So what is actually happening today? We didn't get a lot of economic statistics. We received orders for durable items, but nothing that is significantly impacting the markets. The S&P is up approximately 1%, or it was earlier. NASDAQ as well, doing fairly well. And again exceeding the general markets by roughly 10%. If we take a look at the S&P, where it's currently at, well, it's up half a percent, and sees up 6%. That is 12 times outperforming the general markets here today, showing you a substantial degree of strength leading into this catalyst tomorrow, which is AMC earnings. Now let's get into all of the information that you guys need to know, and then we'll discuss their technicals, which I find to be super, super, super exciting. Based on this information, the AMC stock price is $6.57. Now, it is on the list of threshold securities, and we will discuss FTEs in just a moment. The live short interest free float is sitting at 23.44% here on the day. 121 million shares that are currently sold short course of our average 329% cost of our max 348% in cost to borrow minimum at 1%. According to interactive brokers, there are approximately 300,000 shares available for trading at a staggering 209% cost to borrow array. Let's be honest here. Anything over like 20% is high. Anything above 50% is absurd. And out of this planet is like over 100%. That doesn't even make sense to embark on short positions with cost bar rates like that. Would you purchase a mortgage with an interest rate of 20%? Probably not. Or 100% interest rate? Most likely not. Nobody would be able to afford it in the same manner. This is the situation with AMC at present. And since there are so many dangers associated with shorting AMC right now, our rates have been so expensive. And the short interest again is at a record level that we have not seen since June of 2021. Last time, AMC stock experienced such a significant surge. The technical aspects of June are also significant, and we will discuss them in a moment. Indeed, we are still recording. I just smacked the microphone fairly hard, so maybe that wasn't too loud. So, if we examine the option activity for the day, it would appear that hedge funds are generally bullish. Nope. Positive order value of 5% for 123 orders totaling $35 million 5%. Now, now, now. Ideally, if you've watched the last few videos, especially the ones discussing how I believe hedge funds are concealing their short position, you'll agree that a positive word value of 5% makes no sense to me. If AMC is up 6%, let's pull up a Tesla along with every other stock I could. The most desired and despised stock. Similarly, Tesla is currently up 4.5% on the day. And I haven't examined this, but I'm going out on a limb and predicting that the positive word of value will likely be satisfactory. Right, and look here. Observe that the day's positive order value is 62%. Why is AMC up more than Tesla, 
but still has a positive order value of 5%. Makes no sense. I believe the short interest is greater than what is being reported, and that will make tomorrow's event possible. And profits are far more exciting. Now, if we also consider failure to deliver, I don't believe this is AMC's greatest strength, but it is certainly a plus overall. It would be a deception to argue that recent weeks and this week have looked like this and that it will not contribute to the possibility of a rally. Now, if we examine today's 2.1 million monies that have to be repurchased and tomorrow's 2 million TDs, this represents earnings. This is a significant occasion for AMC. The following day, on Wednesday, there will be 32 million TDs to be repurchased, followed by 3 million on Thursday and around 29 million on Friday. In this regard, there is a great deal of failure to deliver that must be repurchased over the following few days, per the DT plus 35 settlement time. Now, if you're also unfamiliar, the arbitrage trade between shorting AMC and buying APE, which has fueled much of the recent gain in AMC stock, appears to be in Geoparty due to the fact that people don't want this boat to pass. Even pension companies and retirement plans are suing AMC to prevent this vote from taking place. Hence, if you engaged in that arbitrage trade because you believe the overall value of AMC would decline, AP would climb. Now, this is in question. And if it's uncertain, it may imply AMC could rebound significantly because it was already at. Considered that this was a likely occurrence. Throughout the previous two years, there have been no projects that the AMC has attempted that have failed. Even things that were supposed to have a minimal likelihood of success actually occurred. Right. Thus it was already factored into the pricing. Today, there is a great deal of optimistic sentiment, since the trade may not go as easily as hedge funds had hoped. So there you have it. In terms of this week's stock tracker data, the number of calls in the money increased from 29,000 to approximately 33,000 for this Friday, with 77,000 puts in the money priced at 15,000 and 98,000 puts out of the money priced at 98,000. So, many puts that were in the money on Friday have become out of the money since then. And you have witnessed many thousand calls that were before out of the money get into the money. Again, I do not believe that the options are a major influence in this case. Hopefully, that made some sense. This offers you more room to maneuver, particularly if you break out above the 200-day moving average, which I believe might very well occur tomorrow afternoon. If we have the AMC data and projections, there is nothing stopping us from moving at least to $15 per share, if not significantly more. I thus hope you are prepared. I hope you are enthusiastic. There is a lot of work we need to do today to get everyone informed. I plan to discuss several articles in the following video, including this AMC stock piece. Profits during the fourth quarter exceeded expectations. Be a short squeeze catalyst. ANC is expected to release its fourth quarter financial results on February 28. Might an earnings surprise be just the positive factor needed to ignite a short squeeze? Gentlemen and gentlemen, we'll talk about it and much more in the following video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Then post your comments, questions, or concerns in the section below. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you in the future video.